Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here, and welcome to Factorio! Yeah, this is a game that I actually covered on the channel before, I've actually played this before, and I was thinking of actually doing a proper series on this, because I really, really enjoy playing this in my off time, and this is something that is now available on Steam, and it has had several updates since the last time I played it, so let's get on and see what's what. So, this is going to be just a sort of series where I play the game probably to completion, really, and just see how deep into the game we can get, and I'm quite lucky, actually. This is quite a nice starting area. So, let me just have a look at the map. So you can see these orange blobs over here are copper, we've got some iron over here, I'm standing next to some stone here, we even have some coal right there, and water. Could even, this looks like a nice place for a power plant and everything down here. So, for those who are not familiar with uh, Factorio, this is a game about automation. Uh, it's an open world survival and crafting game, yes, but it's also a game about kind of just building elaborate factories and things. See, what it is as the, well, <laughs> The name Factorio should give you a clue. It's really just about building the most efficient factory you can, really. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just gathering some stone so we can make some furnaces. I've made some boilers so that we can start getting on with producing electricity. So. How this game is played is, of course, I can just sit here and mine all the resources myself manually, but that's going to take a long time. You can see, this is actually kind of slow. So what I can do instead... I don't actually need copper that much just yet. Do I have a furnace? No, I need one more bit of stone for that. So what I can actually do instead is I can make myself a drill. So I'm going to put a drill down here. Yeah, this is a good place for it. And let's throw some fuel. Oh, we need we need coal for that. Just going to grab some coal here. Now, of course, different materials take different amounts of times to mine. Right, so let's put that there, and it's already mining the iron for us. And then I can drop a furnace right here. And that's already starting to fill up with iron ore, so I can go and grab some coal. Alternatively, we can use wood as well. There are some trees nearby, but that's not particularly efficient as a fuel anyway. Coal is much better for that, so let's... Get some iron plates. There we go. We've got some iron plates going. And that will allow us to make the steam engine, which will allow us to switch from coal burning drills to electric drills over here. So they're far more efficient and they don't need constant refueling. Like this is going to run out pretty quick. So it's going to be quite inefficient. And that's really how this game is played. You upgrade from one to the next improving your technology, and just open the research menu. Look, this is the amount of things that you can research, up to and including a rocket silo, which is the end game. Uh, the overall objective, we want to create a rocket silo such that we can uh, complete the game. See, the overall objective is you are terraforming this planet, or rather preparing it for a colonization. This is an alien world, after all, and there are aliens. In fact, I think don't see any on the map just yet, but the aliens will attack us if we start producing too much pollution, so we want to kind of be ready for that. Alright, so let's have a look at... Um, so I kind of want to get... No, we don't need that just yet. Logistics would be a nice one to start doing, but we do need to kind of get ourselves onto electricity first before we can even think about doing that. Alright, do we have enough iron plate coming out of here? Yes, we do! Alright, so a steam engine coming in, and 
Our character does have the ability to, to craft quite a lot of things, but that even that is something we can automate in future, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Oh, we've run out of fuel there. The downside of these burner drills is that they need constant refueling. Alright, let's get that going. And we will, of course, need copper very soon as well. Grab more iron plate out of that, and... I think we're probably going to need another furnace, actually. And one more bit of stone. So that takes five stone. And make a stone furnace there. Make a mining drill. And we're going to need more stone again, because basically the furnace is also a prerequisite material for a number of things. For example, boilers and drills, or burner drills. So, it's going to be a bit of a pain. Setting up a bunch of burner drills now. This is still really inefficient, but... Not much we can really do about it for now. Alright, let's get these fueled up. We'll split that. And put that in. And we get some copper plate going there. So, what I'm trying to build is an offshore pump, and this will allow us to. Uh, get water out from the lake over here into our power plant. Now I could, let's just zoom out here, I could put it here, but it's a bit far away from the coal and unfortunately boilers do also need refueling. That's something we can't really get away from. Let's grab that. Need a little bit more iron plate here and this one's out of fuel again. So at the starting, really, it's just a lot of running back and forth trying to get this set up so that we can eventually replace it. Alright, let's make that offshore pump. Uh, that looks like a good spot. Actually, could pick that up. And put that maybe here, right on, right next to the coal pile, so that up in the way. All right, and that's our very first power plant. It's a steam power plant, and what we're going to need for that is we're going to need a bunch of inserters. So these are electric powered, which we don't have an electricity yet, but that will be sorted out very soon. Alright, so need to make another iron pick so that we can get all of that coal out and get this sort of kick started. Should be enough coal for now. A little bit more iron plate here. What I'm going to do with that is I need to make some transport belts. Now these build in sets of two, so I'm going to use these to kind of create a little bit of a staging area. Let's see if we can move that one there and make a little turn here. Just make a nice little loop, like so, and. Right, so we need a little bit more plate to make our uh, electric mining drill. And do the same over here for our copper, because we need both of them. Oh, we have some copper plate there. Let's grab all of that. So now, yeah, we just need... 
some more iron plates. So we'll need 20 more of those. Now I realize I haven't actually built that boiler set up particularly well because that is going to be an issue when we reach the stage where we have uh, more than one power plant because unfortunately those boilers may not be enough to get this going. In fact, I might just pick that up for now, so I might need to add a pipe there. Okay, so that I need some more fuel. Okay, and I need to craft one pipe. Just there. And what that'll do is give us a little bit of space to branch out from there, and it'll also allow us to monitor the temperature. So temperature right now is 15 degrees. I believe that's Celsius, not Fahrenheit, so that's coming out from there. Uh, it's still short of an iron plate at the moment. It's going to take a little bit of time. Let's give it the rest of the fuel there. And in the meantime, I'm going to go grab some wood, and what that's going to be for is for our power cables. Where are they? There they are. We need to make our electric poles. And one just here, I think. I might need some more, actually. One more here, and one right there. And that's going to help us to power up that. And then, of course, we can extend that out later on to start powering up electric drills everywhere else. So, um... I still need more iron plate. Is this done yet? Ah, there we go. Okay, so we can get our first electric mining drill here. And this is going to be a self-powering, self-fueling electric system. And that is achieved simply with this right here. And we'll grab some coal here so we can get the boilers going. Because of course we need boiling water to get our steam engine going at its maximum efficiency. In fact, right now it's not even moving. And you can see there we go, we've got water temperature going up, but it's not quite high enough. There. Alright, steadily climbing. You can even see just how much performance it's really putting out there. It's not really optimal yet. But we don't really need much. Water temperature is slowly climbing. There we go. And of course, as our electric demand increases, then so will the reliance on the steam engine go up. That will actually start working a lot harder once uh, we can start needing it more. Okay, so that will that means that we can actually start removing some of these. We'll just throw the rest of the wood in there just get that going. So I need to make more drills. I could just grab some off here and throw that in there. So really not much else to do other than wait at the moment. Just let all of that produce for now. And that one's out of fuel again because wood does burn up very quickly. And there we go, we can make one more mining drill there.
Okay. So now all we need to do is grab more wood. Let's extend this power cable out. See how far we can actually go with that. I think that's probably as far as it goes. It's not quite far enough. But uh, we could probably remove this now, actually. Place that there. And now that is powered. I do want to actually start getting some of this. of the way. That'll have to do for now, though. So we could look at putting another drill down, actually. But at least for now, we might not have to worry about fuel too much. But eventually I am going to have to siphon off some of that fuel. I could probably start preparing to do that now. Let's start bringing some of it back up here. And the problem is we don't really want to mix these. At least not yet. Alright, so now we have electric power going. And we still need one for the copper there, so... Could probably use this big open space as the main base area, in which case I might actually need to start moving the iron plate down. That's going to be tricky given the way I've just done it. I'm not sure how I can really do that. There we go, so we've got fuel going for the furnace there now. Start bringing the iron plate down a little bit more. Let's just grab it off the belt. Did I accidentally make an inserter? Oops.
Oh, I see. It's actually quite full of um, iron ore at the moment. That's okay. Uh, that's probably as fast as that can actually smelt at the moment. So we don't really have to worry about that too much. Of course, eventually I'm going to have to start piping all of this off into a sort of central area. See, I don't like having to do the smelting right at the, the drills because I think it gets in the way. So what I'm thinking of doing is having a central area here with all of the smelting furnaces and then having all of the material coming in from either side because we have the iron on that side and we have the copper on this side as well. In fact, I think we've got more copper. Yeah, we've got more copper up here and we've got even more up there towards the north. So... We could probably look at doing that. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way of doing it. So having it separated into opposite sides but having a central smelting area. That way I don't have to go to the different areas to collect the materials. Mostly. It will make it much easier in the long term, too. Of course, one mining drill for coal for now is more than enough, honestly. I don't really need to worry about that too much. So, let's start putting more belts down. I'm not worrying about the copper for now. Just trying to make sure that I've got this one all nicely set up. I'm going to have to grab lots and lots of stone, so iron away. I'm thinking three furnaces will probably do it. These three furnaces for now. The only problem is getting fuel in there. It's going to be a little bit tricky. But I do need to look at setting up a lab so that we can start researching things. That's definitely a concern. It's not making a drill, actually. Do I have enough stone to make three? Oh, wait, I don't need to, actually. I can just grab the one from up there. Okay. So for now, anyway, what I can do is put three like so. Grab an inserter. So, as presumably, this side will just be for ore. Grab that inserter as well, so we don't need that. And stop putting inserters down. Probably steal the one from here for now. Yep, and let's throw that there. Grab some more belts. Yep, and let's put that down. Not enough. So I'm probably going to make a little, nice little loop over here for now. Yeah, I'll just loop it around. And that's just so that we can have the ore looping back towards the main area. And I, just, I think what we can do is actually just grab that one. And that way our drill does not need to wait. I think that should work. It's making more electric poles.
and then we can just grab all of these transport belts and direct all of that back down to the uh, furnaces so that we've got fuel going that way. So the main issue is that you'll end up having a lot of these getting backed up with just so much of of material coming through. I think that should be there. And then loop back. Yeah, that's probably the best way for now. Just start by fueling up these. Yeah, why not? Oh, we're just short of one belt, really? I guess we don't need it to be that long. That looks better. Still needed a lot more iron plate to make more inserters, though. So that should hopefully keep these fueled up. They won't need any for a while, though. Uh, let's grab that. And make another inserter. Alright, so that's a fully automated smelting facility that produces three times the iron plates from what we had before. So in the next episode... We're going to start looking at copper, and hopefully start getting some research done. Hopefully. Yeah, probably. Alright, so uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that one there. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Panzer, and this is Factorio. And if you like the looks of this game or this series, please leave a like and... Uh, Comment down below if you have any questions about the game, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you next time.